This is a tutorial to help you get started using PhotoStage Slideshow Creator, and we'll show you how to add images, video clips, sounds, and music, and how to save your slideshow. The panels in the top left contain the features you'll use most often in PhotoStage. They're put in order to carry you through the first steps of creating your slideshow to saving the final product. To the right of this area is the sequence preview. You can control playback of your slideshow in progress using the play controls. The lower portion of the screen contains the sequence, which has tracks for the images, narration, and soundtrack. Any media you want to include in your slideshow, whether it's digital pictures, your favorite song, or a short video clip, is added to the media list in the first panel. Click the Add Photos and Media Files button, browse to the file you want to add, and click Open. The file will appear in the media list. You can then select the file or multiple files and click Add to Show or drag and drop the files onto the sequence. Once the images and videos are on the sequence, they can be moved to the order you want them in by clicking and dragging. Each clip on the sequence displays its duration. Clicking on the ruler next to the duration allows you to change the duration of the clip. For images, enter a new duration and click Apply and Close. For multiple images, select them on the sequence, then right-click and select Set Multiple Clips Duration to assign a new duration. For videos, position the cursor and set an in point with the red flag and out point with the blue flag, then close. Adding effects and transitions is the fun part of making a slideshow and can add to the spirit of the project. Effects and transitions can be added to both image and video clips. Select a clip in the sequence and the effects tab will open. Click on any effect to apply it to the clip and use the preview pane to view the changes. Some effects apply a single, unchanging effect to the clip, while others are animated and change throughout the duration of the clip. You can try different effects out by previewing them and deleting them from the applied effects list until you find the effect you are looking for. Because effects are applied to the entire duration of a clip, controlling their length is a two-part process. First, add two instances of the same clip side by side then apply a crossfade between the clips. Apply the effect to either of the clips and adjust the clip duration to control the duration of the effect. When you preview these clips on the sequence, they will appear as a single clip with the effect applied the way you imagined. Applying transitions work similarly to applying effects. Select a clip and click the Transitions tab to edit the transition after that clip, or select a specific transition on the sequence and edit it directly or select several clips at one time using the shift or control buttons and apply a transition to multiple clips at once. To preview a transition, enter a duration for the transition, click apply, then use the preview pane to view the transition. Change the transition as many times as you want until you find the right one. To adjust the duration of a transition, you can either apply a new duration to the transition in the Add Transitions panel or click the duration on the transition in the sequence to edit the length. You can add captions to images and videos or create a title screen or credits out of a blank slide. Let's see how to create credits for our text demonstration. Add a blank slide to the end of the sequence. Select it in the sequence, then on the Effects tab, locate the text overlay effect. For credits, enter a list of contributors and their roles or any text you want. You can select a new font, adjust the color, change the alignment, and set the text to scroll. When you preview the credits, if they go by too fast, increase the duration of the slide. Use the same text tools to create captions or add other text to the rest of your slideshow. PhotoStage allows you to add music, sound clips, sound effects, and narration to your slideshow. First add the media file into the media list, then select the file and click the Add to Show button. It's helpful to keep longer audio clips on the music track and shorter clips on the narration track. That way you can have speaking or sound effects occur at the same time as your background music. 
If your soundtrack is longer than the duration of your clips, you can either shorten your music or lengthen your clips. To shorten the music, right-click the audio clip you want to shorten and select Adjust Audio Duration. Position your cursor where the clip should end and set a new out point with the blue flag, and then close the window. To lengthen your clips, right-click the audio clip and select Stretch Slides to Fit Audio Track Duration. Be aware that this will make all your image slides the same length and will reset any transitions and effects you have already applied. If you'd like to add narration to your slideshow, it's best to do this after all your slides have been added to the sequence. Position your cursor where the narration should start, then open the Record Narration panel. Make sure the correct microphone is selected in the Capture From drop menu. You can rename the audio file and save the location. Then click the red record button to make your narration. Click stop when you are finished. Your narration will appear on the narration track in the sequence. Another way to add audio to your slideshow is with the included sound effect library. Click the edit menu and select NCH sound effect library. You can preview any sound and download it so you can insert it into your slideshow. The first three downloads are free. Users who purchase the software have unlimited access to the sound effect library. There are two ways to save your slideshow. The first is to save your project if you're still working on putting it together but need to come back later to finish it. Use the save icon that looks like a disc in the toolbar to save your project. When you have the finalized version of your slideshow ready, use the Save Slideshow panel. Select the output format based on how you want to display your slideshow. For example, if you'll be showing it on a DVD player, select the disc option. If you'll be uploading it to YouTube, select the YouTube option. Next, enter the save destination and select the appropriate settings for your slideshow. If you're unsure what all the options are, use the Help button for more information. You now know how to make a slideshow complete with images and video clips, a soundtrack, narration, and sound effects. For more video tools from NCH Software, visit the addresses shown on your screen.